What's going on everybody? It is I, Strix, back at it with more Marvel Snap. Oh boy! Wow, today. <laughs> Man, sorry. Uh, it's been a minute since I recorded a video, uh, since the um, uh, the last um, uh, Snap Miss. Snap Miss was tiring, but now we're back and we got a new card, Celine. Did you see the short? Did you see the awesome short of me opening up Celine with one key? That's great. Anyway, the new series card, Celine, uh, it's a one minus one power. Uh, her ability, it um, adds, I think, minus three. Yeah, minus three to each of the, uh, each person's lowest card. So I decided, you know, since the feature is here, let's throw in an auto Celine and let's see what is the uh, preferred method to utilize her. And, um, Oddly enough, the, <laughs> the the option that I came out to be was sort of like a, a Galactus deck, uh, a Galactus junk deck. So there's cards like the Goblins, Annihilus, um, there's, you see Man-Thing in there, and of course your boy Big G. So I'm really excited to play this out. Also, Yellow Jacket out here getting some more attraction. I like that. I like that people are starting to use Yellow Jacket for their, their needs. I feel like it's good for the junk deck too, because Annihilus is just... Uh, 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 excuse me, something of a, an anomaly that uh, forces people to do horrible things. All right, here it is. Hobgoblino locking down Jutenheim. He played Wolfsbane, losing, unfortunately, to you. And there it is. Galactus, Big G. I'm snapping. The moment has been robbed from me. Well, that's great, but that sucks. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. But yeah, um, yeah, that's the pretty much... Now, do I think... Here's the play, right? Do I possibly think that Celine is actually worth the, the big price tag of 6,000... 6,000 um, points? I'll be honest. Uh, I feel like she kind of fulfills a specific niche of uh, the gameplay meta. A lot of see, a lot of people I've seen is like, oh, this is the piece that Annihilus was missing. You know, this is like the what is needed to have those kinds of decks work for junk decks. I don't feel like it is as good as it claims to be. I mean, no offense, I love Selene. I love the deck that she employs. It's my deck. It's Galactis, big G up in here. But, uh, I wouldn't necessarily price her at 6K. I probably would. 3K, I think 3K is a, a fair amount. Uh, I think there's a, like, plus, you know, in, in fairness too, I've been playing this game a lot. I have the full collection. I have the full sweep. Um, and there have been so many other really good series five cards that come out. Like Nico, Nico is a whole other beast of a card because she's got so many possibilities. But I think that with, uh, with, uh, yeah, well, by the way, Big G coming out in full force. Ooh, I didn't even get to notice the play. Sorry, I'm just too busy talking. Uh, see how that, did you see that? How that all worked out? It's so cool, right? <laughs> uh, sorry, I got too I got too deep in my discussion about um, whether or not she's worth it. Uh, I would honestly, I would um, pay out 3K. I wouldn't do 6K for her uh, because again, she's a niche product. Uh, I feel like she's a, she is kind of like what Scorpion, so you know, like the, the comp, uh, this is my comparison, okay? Um, you know how America has a, a different kind of new buff where it's the top card uh, that gets buffed? Um, it's very similar to Okoye where the whole deck gets buffed. I feel like Celine is very similar to like, like a Scorpion where Scorpion will debuff the whole hand, but Celine will uh, debuff one specific card, and that's the lowest power card. Um, kind of, it feels like a lot of the cards lately have been um, copies or like variant abilities of other cards, like Viper and Annihilus, you know, stuff like that. So, honestly, I really like it. I like her very much because I love these kinds of decks. It's a hor a horrible, horrible uh, trolling all over the place. It's great. 
Um, what I necessarily think it's worth 6K, I don't think so personally. I think 3K should have been a good amount. Like Havoc is a great card, I love Havoc. And I feel like Havoc could have been a more of a 6K card um, because there's so much possibility there. But Celine, I would have done, I would have done it the other way. I would have done Havoc 6K, uh, Celine at 3K, and heck, even the Blob 3K. Like, you know, I get the Blob's, you know, um, appeal, but not for me personally. All right, anyway, we're finishing this out. We're gonna do horrible things to this person uh, because I just locked down Shuri's lab. Yeah, don't believe me, bro. It's fine. Ready? Are you ready for this? I've locked it down. Here it is. Go ahead, play the man thing you stole from me. I will destroy everything else you worked so hard to build. With your boy, Big G Galactus. Oh, man. I mean, look at that. Look at that location. Doesn't it just, ah, uh, doesn't it just fill you with a sense of, I shouldn't be allowed to do any of that? It really should. Anyway, uh, go check out Celine if you want to. I think she's a great card. I'll leave it up to you.